Today's adventure brings me to the Fairhaven Memorial Park here in Santa Ana, California. Where I'm looking for a couple individuals here who I've found out over the weekend that are laid to rest here. Let's see if we can find them. What's happening everybody? Danny Punk's Life here. Here at the Fairhaven Memorial Park in Santa Ana, California. Just like I stated at the beginning of the video, I'm here in front of this mausoleum type thing where all these niches are. Well, I'm looking for a special somebody who's in one of these niches. Her name is Pamela Susan Corson. Or some people know her as Pam Morrison. Jim Morrison's girlfriend. If you do not know who Jim Morrison is, allow me to explain to you who he is. He's only the lead singer of The Doors. And you know who The Doors are then? Go on YouTube or go to your local record store and go buy the freaking album. Or go see the movie with Val Kilmer. But we're looking for Pam Corson. Where she's somewhere, she's somewhere around here. On a little adventure right now, so let's go find her. In the middle of this courtyard, it's pretty nice. In the middle of this whole mausoleum type thing. But uh, in the corners they have like these little areas where people can actually put little things that people belong. I guess see-through niches. They actually have little windows. I'm not going to review some of the names, but it's pretty neat. There's one in the corner over there as well. And each corner actually has one, which is pretty, pretty interesting. They also have this water fountain in the middle of the courtyard. It's pretty... Uh, Relaxing, soothing. Not sure what the names are on this, but it's really nice and relaxing, you know, so people can just overall enjoy their stay here. Not stay, but visit their loved ones who have passed. Really neat. Man, where the heck is this girl? I've gone two locations, can't find her. I'm gonna ask somebody. Maybe they can help me out. During this wild goose chase of looking for Pam, I found this interesting little, I don't even know what to call this thing, <laughs> marble, like Bible, it has the Lord's Prayer in it, so that's pretty neat. I'm in the middle of this courtyard right now, looking for Pam, which I think she's right around there, which I was told, so I want to check it out. <laughs> here we are going right in here hallway all right Let's check it out and there she is wow Pamela Susan Morrison a little surprise it says Morrison even though Pamela claims they were married, but Jim Morrison didn't put it in his will that he was married. So I think, I think they just put it there as respect just to kind of identify her, but she's still a Corson, not a Morrison. She died in 1974 when Jim Morrison died three years before in 71. She was supposed to be buried right next to him in Paris, but due to like you know, laws of the con different countries and stuff. They just was making it more difficult. So they, they laid it to rest here in Santa Ana. Out of a heroin overdose. You know, she she had issues, had case issues. She was also betrayed in the movie by Meg Ryan, also called The Doors, with Val Kilmer. Check that movie out. Has a pretty good background on her. And uh, Jim Morrison's relationship, which was very chaotic, but they loved each other. And uh, hopefully she found some, even though her death was an ac accident, maybe she found some, found a way to be with him again. If that means anything. Just out of curiosity, I've seen this button. I don't know what it does. I don't know if it's a light. What the hell is it? Jordan, if you've seen this. Comment below, let me know what this does. 
Now on to my second person, which is pretty special to me. Pam, she's cool and all, but she ain't no Jim. This person isn't Jim, but he's still very special to me, especially as a guitar player and a musician. So the second person I'm looking for, I just found, thanks to Jordan, one of the groundskeepers here. Fucking rock, dude. Speaking of rock, let's go check out this grave. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the father, the inventor of Fender Guitars. Leo Fender. Wow. Right over there. Is his wife. I wonder why they're not right next to each other. Kind of above each other. It's pretty interesting to me. So when Leo was born, he was a youngling, he had a tumor which had to remove one of his eyes. So for the longest time, I didn't know this, that Leo had one eye, a glass eye. Pretty interesting fact. And how he got into building Fender guitars is more interesting is because he worked with his uncle who owned, I guess like a radio repair shop or something, some type of thing that had to do with electronics. I think it was radios. And he, um, yeah, he just learned how to wire things. Yeah, he was a handyman. He was a little repairman for his uncle. And that's where it all started with this guitar. The first guitar that came out was a Telecaster. It was soon to be the Stratocaster, which everybody, everybody, uh, the greats have played both guitars, but the Strat is probably more popular than the Telecaster, honestly. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Eric Clapton, Yngwie Momsting, you name it, everybody has owned a Fender guitar. I have owned a Fender guitar, being a guitar player, which is pretty awesome. If you uh, just dig a little bit, you see there's guitar picks in there, right around his grave, see that? Therefore, my picks on my necklace are very special to me. This was a Fender pick at one point. Now, it's going to Leo. Thank you, Leo, for inventing the Fender. Pressing your name, iconic name. Very special moment here. Thank you. And that's gonna do it for today here at Fairhaven Memorial Park. We found the two people we we're looking for, Pam Corson and Leo Fender. It's awesome, you know, it's, 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 it's crazy when you look up a little bit of history and what you could find, especially in just a random area. So looking forward to doing more of these grave locations. And uh, yeah, you know, special shout out to Jordan, one of the groundskeepers here. He helped me find both parties which uh but you didn't have to do man so appreciate you man and uh yeah until next time who am i gonna look for next time comment below let me know who do you want me to look for we'll talk about him maybe john wayne maybe uh maybe i'll go to the hollywood nah i don't know we'll see comment below let me know who you want me to look for next and uh until next time the vlog is over.